Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. Over the last couple episodes, we've looked at the First Commandment, having only one God, the Lord, and putting Him first. We talked about how images and idols pertain to that, and mentioned that you can violate this command by putting something else before God in your life, or substituting something else in a place where God belongs. So the question is, how do we avoid breaking this First Commandment? According to the Catechism, there are six overarching categories through which a person can set up false gods for themselves. But two of those categories are listed as atheism and agnosticism, which I've dealt with elsewhere as being false for independent reasons, and that leaves only four categories left. Superstition, idolatry, divination slash magic, and irreligion. However, because I don't like using single words to describe complex subjects, I'm going to get a little more specific on each of these, starting with idolatry. Idolatry is what I like to call a false god by priority. This means that in your life you have something that you prioritize over following God's will in order to do what's best. For example, you might prioritize money, or the praise of friends or family, or your career, or your relationship with your girlfriend slash boyfriend, or maybe you're more concerned with your appearance than your relationship with God. In any case, all of these things can be recognized by the common thread running through them all. They prioritize something in your life over love and obedience of God. And this is a mistake for two main reasons. First, it jeopardizes our relationship with God. God, being perfectly loving as well as perfect in every way, rightly insists on not playing second fiddle to anyone else in our lives. If we refuse to put him first, to give him the respect and loyalty that he deserves, that's not enough. He cares more about each of us than about the entire world, and we need to work towards having the same commitment to Him. Secondly, no matter what kind of thing we're putting ahead of God, in the end, it won't last forever. Modern physics tells us that ultimately, as time passes, the Earth's sun will incinerate the Earth, consuming any and all trace that human beings ever existed. Furthermore, the distance between bodies will continue to grow larger and larger until the space between one molecule and the next will be the size of the galaxy. This is known as the cosmic heat death. Nothing will last. Nothing will be left of what we once cared about and put first, except the one being who was there before time began and will be there after it ends, God himself. God's goal is to take us into himself so that we can escape this cosmic extinction and enjoy the goodness of a better world for all eternity. And only God himself can do this. Money can't do it, nor praise, nor fame, nor career advancement, nor relationships, nor spiffy haircuts, nor nothing. This is why we shouldn't set up a false god by priority. Next time, we'll talk about another means of setting up false gods, false gods by properties. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.